What's up everybody, it's Simon Cram from Ben Dead. We are on tour with Bullet for my Valentine and Mice and Men. We just had our new single come out, Am I the Only One? And this is my kit. So this kit was made by SJC. It's like a mahogany, purplish, reddish finish. Um, it's got gold splatters, gray hardware. It's, um, it's normally an eight piece, but right now we're running with the, the six piece right now. But is suitable for what we're doing for this run. In front here, we got a 20 by 22 bass drum. Uh, I just like how the way it feels. It's very just, it's like a cannon, you know what I mean? Everyone does like the, you know, they do the, what's it, like the 18 by 22s and it's just super thin, but I just wanted to feel more power pushing through for live and it just, it just cuts through for what we're doing. And I just love the way it sounds for me personally. And then, we have a 10 inch tom right here. Usually I run a 10 inch, 12 inch, and a 13 inch, but for this run, I'm doing a 10 inch and a 12 inch. And it just feels good because it's smaller to high and, it's just, and it just feels good to roll around. And then we got a 16 inch right here. And this is just a fucking beast. I think I'm gonna change it though. I'm gonna do like a bass drum, I think, right here just to fucking sound like a cannon. So it's gonna be awesome. So the snare I'm running, it's six and a half by 13. It was a tribute snare from my sister. Um, she recently passed away, but you know. Uh, it's gold, hardware, white shell, purple splatters. I don't know if you guys can see the splatters or not. It's an absolutely beautiful snare. The 13 inch, I just love, I'm, I'm very short, and I also just have bigger legs, so the 13 inch is really good just because it's not carving into my thighs. And then the six and a half is because I fell in love with Joey Jordison's uh, signature snare, which was a six and a half by 13. I used to play that for a long time, and it just felt right, you know what I mean? I played with a seven by 14, but it just felt so massive, and I just wasn't a big fan of it. But yeah, the six and a half uh, with the wooden burned uh, emblem. I got the snare weight on top. Those guys are amazing. They sent me a lot of great products. And with the trick, yep. And then the, the 40, the 40 uh, strand wire, the, that's probably why I get the massive cannon sounds throughout the whole live set. So yeah, that's my kit. So I run with Remo. Lately, I've been doing Emperor on tops and Ambassador on the bottoms. I used to do pinstripes, but when we released our signal, uh, Am I the Only One? I used Emperors on this track and it just kind of stuck. It sounded just really dark and it sounded heavy. The fills just sounded just big. So yeah, Remo Emperor throughout the whole thing and um, Ambassadors on the bottom. And the little trick that I do is uh, this little spider web right here. No one can steal it, but uh, yeah, it's, it just helps for like toning and just helps for that resonance that no one wants. It kind of like flies in the air and it just, just flushes away. It's really cool. Really good trick. The snare is a Remo controlled uh, sound coded X. Uh, right now, I don't, I don't know where the dot went. <laughs> There's usually a dot right here in the middle. I think I just hit harder because recently I've been playing with with the snare jazz style, which is more in front of me like this. It's kind of angled down, so I think the snare, the, the dot kind of just powered away. So my ride is on the left side. For anyone who doesn't know, I'm left-handed, so I play like open-handed like this. I got a Mega Bell A Custom 21 inch. This thing is a fucking beast. Really good for blast beats, really good for bell parts. Having fun with it. Never clean it though because it just sounds way better dirty. Moving on to my main crash, which is an A Custom 20 inch. Uh, dirty as well, but that's how we are. So, I mean, this one's fun. I use this mainly throughout our whole set. Um, and then for hi hats, I've been kind of experimenting. I used to have a 14 inch, but I've been doing a 15 inch, the A Custom Master Sound Hi-Hat. I'm thinking about doing a, like a dark, the dark uh, series that just came out. Those look really cool, but I'm not sure yet. This really cuts through though for parts because we have a lot of hi-hat parts that just really just dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig So I just need a lot of cut through. Uh, and then here, this little guy that's kind of hidden is my little splash. This guy's new, he's an FX crash, or FX splash, I'm sorry. This is a 10 inch, having fun with this guy a lot. Really good for close hi-hat parts, really good for fills. Just good for just like simple beats like this, and just play around. That's really fun, that guy's fun. Up here, this is new. Uh, usually my China's over here and my crash is so they're swapped. But at home recently I've just been messing around with placements and stuff like that and 
China here felt really good because it just felt high and just up here. So I'm playing with an Oriental. This is, I believe, a 19 inch. Yes, a 19 inch. I'm not used to a 19 inch, and I'm not used to an Oriental uh, China Crush. I usually have the uh, Ultra Hammered A Custom, but this has been really fun. Just sounds really heavy. I mean, everything sounds heavy with these cymbals. So, but this one's really cut cuts through with like massive China parts. Moving on here. This is fun for doing fills around the kit like this. This one's my 10 inch A Custom Splash. Same as this one, except it's not an FX. This one's really cool. I've had this one since I was like 13 or whatever. I've had it for a long time. Really good guy. This guy, I just brought out today. Uh, this is the Sweet Crash, uh, the K series. Uh, this one's a 20 inch. I'm excited about this one. I haven't, we tried it at Soundcheck and Pretty sure it sounds really good so I'm, I'm excited I've been mainly an a custom guy so I'm excited to see what this sounds like live this guy is the, is the really weird one <laughs> this is the the raw crash that I found there was only one left in stock I got my hands on it I guess this is a crash that like they never finished you know what I mean like it has the logo on and everything but they never smelted it down to look like a beautiful circle symbol so it sounds really dark and it's pretty sweet so love this guy weird just like us um, my my favorite symbol now is the crash of dune the 22 inch oriental this one is so so fun for just coming down on the downbeat like with a breakdown just dun, 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 like that so fun my favorite symbols by far i make sure it's all the way to the right so i have a Thing to attack but yeah that's my symbols sticks right now i'm running with um manhattan 7a from vader uh recently i tried their classic uh 7a's but these ones just feel really light everyone's always like why do you why do you play with the 7a's and it's just faster you know faster to go around the kick because a lot of our parts are just constant constant just around so these are really fun Really light. I like the little tips right here. Uh, they just absolutely just slam on the kit. Really good. Love these guys. Throne. I don't know. I found it in a storage unit uh, of ours one time and just tried it out. Really comfy. Just like it. Like it had. I don't know. What about it? It's just really comfy. It's just like I've tried so many thrones from Gibraltar, Tama, and like I love those guys. It's just like those just didn't suit how I wanted to play. This has like a I don't even know what brand it is, but it's so like, just you fit into it, it's really nice. So I like this guy a lot, and it's cushionable, so that's good. My sample pad, which runs all of our 808s, our interludes, our intro, and the Lisa's multi-strike pad. Those guys are great, I love those guys. I also love them because it's super colorful. Really helps, like, I mean, it won't play or anything, but um, when I do hit it, like, it turns white, so I can tell if there's a track playing. If I actually hit something, I can hit a panic button, I can hit the next kit over, next kit over. It's really nice, it's really just efficient, and it's definitely just helpful for our kit, like our set, because a lot of the songs, like, I don't have time to like press this button, so like I'll be playing the last note, I just go boom, right there. Like I'm just immediately into the next song or the next part. So it's really efficient for what I, we're doing right now. The hardware, this is a new piece that I got recently. I've been with Gibraltar since I was like a little baby, but I recently bought this because it just looked so low profile. This is the bass drum shaped rack. It's really cool because like when you're far away, you can't even notice it. Super clean, shiny. It just like, and it's just easy. It's easy to take apart. It's less, like less space above. And then we go around here we got the low profile rack right here which is really cool because it's just I can pick this up move it across the stage it's so stealth mode and that's what it's called it's called the stealth kit and that's what I've been calling it it's just the I've been calling it the Batman <laughs> in my head because it's just it's so quiet and it looks so like low to the ground and that just for the crowd it's really cool because I don't want them to see bulkiness I don't want I want them to see clean and just everything look clean and organized so that's the hardware I use, which is Gibraltar. Really good guys. Same with the hi-hat stand. Gibraltar as well. My pedals are Iron Cover 600s, the double pedal. I usually run uh, single pedals. I have two bass drums, but right now it's, you know, with space and time. It's just been a single bass drum. 
but these are really really fun really fast it's just you know just really really cool I love these guys recently I've been trying to like try new pedals I might try direct drive but fell in love with the chain for a long time and I just think that's just who I am and these are just this gets me through the show they're really quick and I need to be quick to do what we do because we have a lot of fast bass drum parts and I have to be just on my A game with everything. That's why everything's super low, super close, because I need to be just in the corners and it's just, that's just how it is. This is the first tour we're running ears for me. I usually just run monitors, but this is the first tour I have ears. So I'm just running a Sennheiser in ear pack, really nice. It's kind of the most like dumb way to do it, which is a mixer right in here. And then this is running through the mixer and I have a track running through the sound guy, but it works. So I hear the show so much better and I feel like I can, I'm connected to these guys so much more and I can just focus on what I'm doing and I can hear what I'm playing and what mistakes that I'm doing. So yeah, I, I just know, I, I mean, yeah, it's just, this is the whole thing. This is the beast. I love sitting behind this thing every night. It's just so fun just to come here and look at it and then also change things about it and that's why I'm experimenting with different crashes and because that's just the whole fun thing about drums you know that's why I think everyone should learn is like everyone should get out of their comfort zone and that's what I'm trying to do like I changed my crash over here to the left instead of up there and it works so much better for me so yeah thanks for checking out my kid I'm, I'm Simon Cram from Vended uh, we're on tour right now with Bullet for my Valentine you can check our tickets out on officialvended.com we have some headlining dates through those tours thanks to everyone for watching I'll see you guys later